tracking dividends makes you two times more likely to reach your goals. And not only that, but you can achieve your goals up to 30% faster than someone who doesn't. Tracking dividends is a powerful tool I use to make sure I'm on track for financial freedom. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how I track dividends on my Excel spreadsheet each month. In June, I had my largest passive income payout of $529.24 in dividends alone. That's not counting capital appreciation or stock price going up. Tracking dividends allows me to see progress and helps me become more focused and motivated on my goal of reaching $1,000 per month in dividends. Today, we will create an organized Excel spreadsheet to track dividends and cash flow monthly. I will show you one of the easiest and fastest ways to track dividends, and we will make two visually compelling graphs to make sure your dividends are on track. Once the spreadsheet is set up, it usually takes me one trip to Starbucks every month to keep track. If you want the sheet, just use the link in the description below. It's completely free. Building healthy financial habits like tracking dividends helps me feel in control of my money and allows my money to work harder for me every month. Let's start from scratch and create our very own spreadsheet. This is a bit time consuming, but very easy to do. And once it's set up, it's very quick and easy to update. You may also be pleasantly surprised by the results. So we're going to go to our brokerage and our portfolio. I'm using my M1 Finance portfolio today and I'm going to go to my high yield dividend portfolio. It's about 10% of my overall portfolio. This portfolio beat the S&P 500 in both dividends and yield to date returns. My high yield portfolio consists mainly of income generating stocks and ETFs. Each company or ETF has had a solid dividend yield and most have increased dividends for the past five to 10 years. If you would like to see my portfolio update, I will leave a link in the description below. You can see all of my holdings and the top stocks I'm buying in July. Once we have our brokerage account, it's time to set up our sheet. Add a title, which you can customize based on your preferences. I shall call you High Yield Dividend Portfolio. For categories at the top, we add name, ticker, which is the symbol the company uses on the stock exchange, shares, which is how many shares you own, average share price or the average price you paid to buy each share, market price or how much the stock price is for one share currently, total gain, total gain percentage, annual dividend, dividend yield or how much the company pays shareholders versus company revenue, and annual income. I like to bold these and make them a bit bigger. I then go to my brokerage account and start typing in the names of all of the companies I own. Note QYLD is currently 30% of my holdings because I wanted steady, consistent monthly income. I am not concerned with the stock price with QYLD because I wanted steady high yield dividends and I will buy at a lower price once I believe the recession fears are over. Also over a yield to date return, QYLD actually beat the S&P 500 in stock price. QYLD tracks the QQQ or NASDAQ 100, which I believe 10 years from now will be much higher. I have a long-term time horizon and this fund allows me to create a huge snowball effect where I can reinvest back in or invest into other dividend stocks that are consistent and reliable. When market crashes occur, I prefer to allocate money into dividend ETFs like SCHD, Vanguard's VYM, JEPI, and QYLD while I wait for buying opportunities in individual stocks. These dividend ETFs act like a cash flow machine while I wait for the storm to be over. So let's add the names and symbols to our sheet. So for Global X NASDAQ 100, the symbol is QYLD. 23% of my portfolio is JEPI, which I love as a recession-proof dividend ETF because they have low risk of capital depreciation due to management's great strategy. I will continue to add to JEPI this month. Let's fast forward now, otherwise this video will be hours long. Next, we add how many shares we have of each company, our average share price, and the market price. So I currently own 61 shares of Main Street Capital. This blue chip BDC, which is in the housing sector, recently increased their dividend yield with a current 6.47% yield. Even during 2020, this company kept their dividend and did not cut it. Maine has been able to increase dividends even when times are tough, and I like holding them to bulletproof my portfolio. 
My current average share price is $43.82 and the market price is $39.90. So I am currently down a little bit in this position, but I believe there is plenty of upside and I'm going to take advantage of the dip. You are now ready to find your annual total dividends. Go to nasdaq.com and type in your stock. I will go with ABR or Arbor Realty, and the site will show me the dividend yield at 11.1% and an annual dividend of $1.52. I find this site and the company's website to be more reliable than M1 Finance, Webull, or any other brokerage account. This is also where I can see the dividend history and if the stock has cut or increased dividends. Arbor Realty is one of my favorite M rates in the housing sector because it has increased dividends for the past six consecutive quarters and has 18% dividend growth year over year for the past five years. This really is one of my favorite stocks to own even in times of high inflation because they have been growing revenue consistently, have a well diversified portfolio and have a sustainable payout ratio, meaning that they are able to keep paying dividends for the long term. Type in the annual dividend of one share, which is $1.52. For every share I own of ABR, I get $1.52 per year and type in the dividend yield, which is 11.1%. If you want to quickly track dividends monthly, use this next table I'm about to show you. I use this to compare monthly dividends and see if I'm on track to make and hopefully exceed my total annual dividends. Go to your brokerage account, which is M1 Finance for me, and find your monthly statement. In M1, I go to settings, documents, and my previous brokerage statement. I look at taxable dividends and I add that to my monthly dividend Excel sheet. Type in each month and go through your dividend statements. You'll notice my dividends vary a lot each month because companies pay dividends on a monthly and quarterly basis. They have different days of paying shareholders and what is important to see is an increase overall in dividends after tracking for at least one year. With investing, reinvesting, and increasing dividend yields, we want to see more money in our pockets year over year. Now let's quickly see if our dividends are increasing overall. If they're not, we may want to consider rebalancing or finding better dividend growth companies in which to reinvest. You can edit this chart by clicking the three lines at the top, then click edit chart. If you want to add labels, click the three circles to the right of dividends, click add labels, click date, and click dividends. You can now see my dividends on the line graph. You can customize this graph how you want. You can edit this chart the same way. To edit the numbers, go back to your table and fill in the correct data. The graph will automatically update and you can add the next month as well. I like to look at these graphs to quickly visualize my dividend growth. So now that you have seen how I track my monthly and yearly total dividends, you can use it in your own life and track your own dividends. This is what I've been doing for years now and it seems to work out pretty well. I worked out some of the hitches. So if you need any help with that, please let me know in the comments and please leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you want more investing advice. As a dividend investor, it's very important to track on a monthly basis and it can either be a very quick process or it can be a little bit more time consuming at first but honestly I love my monthly coffee financial check-ins I just kind of zen out have my calming yoga music going and just update my dividend portfolio and my excel spreadsheet and it just honestly takes me between 15 to 20 minutes every single month and I can basically see my dividends increasing drastically month over month and year over year, depending on when the companies are paying out the dividends. So it's very exciting to see and it just gets me more motivated and I just want to help you along with your financial health journey because it is a journey. It's not a sprint. It's not a get rich quick scheme, but it will help you get to retirement earlier and get the financial freedom that you want faster. So this is Supergirl Investor here to save the world and make you wealthy. Please leave a like and let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. I want all parents in yachts by 2025. Let's make everybody future millionaires. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.